What's going on, y'all? I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Today, we're looking at the home of Kim Zolciak Beerman from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. News reports um, today come out that there's a foreclosure transpiring. Unfortunately, it's a very sad situation. A lot of people have gone. I know a lot of people that have gone through that. It's, not, it's never a great situation for anyone. And um, these are reports that are coming out on different sites. So I'm going to say alleged. But we're going to take a look at this home just and uh, just to give a, get an idea of what it looks like. Now, the home, we don't, there's not a ton of photos of it because they got it built, I believe. And let's see how it does have five bedrooms, six and a half bath with 6,900 square feet. Uh, it last sold for 880,000. So maybe they didn't get it built, but they did a lot of work to it to get it to the place where it is uh, right now. It's definitely an estate. It's a manor on a golf course and country club. Uh, and again, decent size home in Alpharetta. So hit like, subscribe, do a little thumbs up. And we're gonna take a look at it in just a second, but just a little bit more about this whole foreclosure situation. Let's talk about it. The reports are saying that uh, that Kim Zosiak is looking to lose her $2.6 million mansion to foreclosure after she failed to pay back uh, $300,000 a $300, loan following the cancellation of her Recent show, so she had Don't Be Tardy for the, Don't Be Tardy, I believe is what it's called. It was the Bravo show. Don't Be Tardy. Legal documents obtained by the U.S. by the Sun show that the star and her ex NFL star, Croy Beerman, failed to pay back a 300K loan. This must be a second lien or something. They, but they're trying to get something added to the house. What, what this was, I, I don't know. I used to be a loan officer, but it, I don't remember none of the stuff that I used to talk about when I was a loan officer. I was 21. And I'm 40, wow, 39 now, <laughs> 39. Um, it says a notice of sale under power confirmed that Kim, who's 44, and her husband, who's 37, had their five-bedroom, six-and-a-half-bath home foreclosed on, and it's being put up for sale at auction. So if you want, if you got the cash money, you can go get it, by the way. Anyone want to get it? Fulton County, go, go grab it. Go grab it. Kim and Croy's home was foreclosed upon because of, among other possible events of default, failure to pay the indebtedness. So um, let's go and take a look at the few pictures. Not a lot. Don't be, don't expect a lot. Not a whole lot. A few pictures that she's shown. Um, so it won't take very long at all. But you can try to, we only need to provide a rating on this one. Let's just check it out. Enjoy. <laughs> Like it's made for me Looks like the sky gon' burst apart And it's gon' rain on me I wish I could take my heart And fill the vacancy It's bound by chains and torn apart We left the memory 